President Obama and U.S. officials have been careful to not point fingers after the Malaysia Airlines crash that killed nearly 300 people Thursday. But U.S. officials did say a missile possibly fired from a separatist-controlled area of Ukraine brought the jet down, and lives wouldn't have been lost if tensions had been cooled in the region. This terrible tragedy underscores the need for Russia to take immediate and concrete steps to de-escalate the crisis in Ukraine. Moreover, President Obama has made it clear what needs to happen next. There has to be a credible international investigation into what happened. Russia, pro-Russian separatists, and Ukraine must adhere to an immediate ceasefire. But what if those requests aren't met and concrete evidence is found linking Russia and or Ukrainian separatists to the missile that downed MH17? What are the White House's options going forward? Well, there obviously isn't a shortage of opinions on the matter. The Europeans have to be the ones to take the lead on this. If you ask Ukrainian government that's struggling, they would say they need weapons with which to defend themselves. That last point made by Senator John McCain seems like a strong possibility. U.S. officials have framed the MH17 crash as a part of a larger picture, helping calm the crisis in Ukraine. To do that, Pentagon Press Secretary Rear Admiral John Kirby said Friday, the U.S. continues to supply Ukraine's military with non-lethal materials, like helmets, first aid kits, and sleeping bags. But Ukraine has asked for lethal materials, and Kirby said the U.S. is constantly reviewing and reevaluating whether to honor those requests. What about sanctions? President Obama imposed another round of economic sanctions on Russia Wednesday, although Russian President Vladimir Putin brushed them off. Well, they usually backfire. CNN reports those sanctions haven't backfired just yet. Russian markets reportedly took a tumble on the news, rattling investor confidence and further hurting the country's economy. And there's a precedent for more sanctions. President Ronald Reagan ratcheted up sanctions on the Soviet Union in 1983 after one of their jets shot down a Korean Airlines flight, killing all 269 aboard. In his speech following the attack, Reagan painted the Soviet Union as a global enemy, saying it's the Soviet Union against the world. Vox reports Reagan later released classified documents showing the Soviet Union was at fault. What isn't an option, according to President Obama, is U.S. military intervention. The president has reiterated he doesn't see a U.S. military role beyond what's already being done, but he continues to offer necessary support and assistance. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.